Hi guys and welcome to part 7 of ASP.NET MVC core tutorials. On the part 6 we learned about the MVC pattern and the benefits of using it. And on this part we are going to see how the folder structure of our project will look like. Let's start from the top to the bottom. On the root folder, as we have already mentioned, we will store all the static files like images, CSS and JavaScript libraries. On this project we will need bootstrap and we are going to see later how we can add it using bower.json file. The components folder will hold all our components like card component, the menu component, which we are going to create later. The components, or as we call them, view components, is newly introduced feature in ASP.NET Core MVC in replacement of partial views. View components are very similar to partial views and allow the users to write reusable components without using module binding. On the controllers folder, we are going to put all the controllers that we are going to create later on. On the data folder, we will store everything that is somehow related to the data of our application. Files like the models, the repository interfaces will all be placed on this folder. The migration folder that you see here is just a folder which is created when we migrate our data to the database and we can delete it afterwards. On the tag helpers folder, we will put our custom tag helpers that we will create later. We will learn more about the tag helpers later, but just so you know, tag helpers enable server side code to participate in creating and rendering HTML elements in Razor files. The view models folder will hold all the view models. The view models are used to manage data and organize the code, so they allow you to shape multiple entities from one or more data models or sources into a single object. And the last folder you see on the solution is the views folder and here we will put all our views. Thank you for watching and see you on the next part.